Welcome to Cinematic Recaps. This scene is from a movie called 10,000 BC. Sit back and enjoy to see what happens. At this time the main character Dlay was a young boy. He noticed her Evolette from the first time she arrived at their village. Meanwhile, Dlay's father cannot wait for the fulfillment of the spirit woman's prophecy. He holds the white spear, which means he is the lead hunter, and gives it to his friend Tick Tick. He is off to search for answers that could help his people. Everyone thinks that he abandoned his people and the young children make fun of Delay because of it. He and Evolette grow closer because he is lonely like her. Years later when they are adults, the voiceover said that the hunters went out for the last hunt. Before the hunt, Tick Tick said that the one who kills the mammoth would hold the white spear and claim Evolette. Delay is still treated with little regard because his father was the coward but is determined to win the white spear and the girl. During the hunt, all is going as planned when they capture one mammoth in their nets. However, the mammoth breaks free. Everyone is holding on gradually let go. Delay and Tick Tick are the last ones holding on. Tick Tick told him to let go. He said that his hand was stuck. The mammoth continues to drag him on and only dies when falls on Delay's spear. Only Tick Tick knows the truth and just gives Delay a look of disapproval when he asks for the white spear. Delay later gives it back. But Evolette is upset because she implied that he should have kept so they could be together. During the night, the four-legged demons come and ransack the village, kill people, and take some in chains. The four-legged demons are actually warlord men on horses. One of the people taken is Evolette because one of the men is taken with her beauty. Delay is determined to follow and rescue his love. The spirit woman doubts that he is able to accomplish the task by himself. Tick Tick and another hunter agree to go with him. The spirit woman gives her blessing and uses her spirit powers to be with them. She feels their suffering during the journey. They are able to follow the warlords over the mountains and into the forest. In the forest, Delia disregards the advice of Tick Tick and tries to free Evolette. As they try to make the escape, there are these giant man-eating birds that attack. In the end, the warlords capture Evolette and two of the others in Delia's group. Tick Tick is injured. Delay nurses him back to health while continuing to follow the warlords. One night he is out trying to kill some food and falls into a pit. Some time later he is awakened by the rain. He sees a saber-toothed tiger that is struggling not to drown. He wants to kill it but cannot since it is helpless. He frees the tiger and the tiger roars in his face and runs off. The next day he and Tick Tick go into a village and begin to eat food that they see that is outside. Then the tribe of people appear and pull out their spears. There is a face-off between the tribe and Delay and Tick Tick. Meanwhile, the saber-toothed tiger appears and once again roars in Delay's face. He mentions to the tiger that they already know each other. Because this exchange fulfills an ancient prophecy in the village about the man that speaks to the tiger, they follow Delay to rescue their people. The warlords passed through and captured some of their people too. All the tribes bad together following Delay to rescue their people. Someone mentions that the warlords use birds to fly to their destination. The birds are actually ships going down a river. Delay and the men travel on land to meet the warlords at the end of the river. There are thousands of people there that are being held captive to build giant pyramid for the Almighty. The Almighty is supposedly the god among them and commissions the build of the pyramid-like tower in the ancient city. He gives his approval or disapproval of the work being done on the pyramid. He calls for a sacrifice because he is not pleased with their progress. One of the men from Delay's village is killed. Delay infiltrates the slave camps to inform the people that they will overthrow the powers that be and release Evolette. After talking to a blind, wise man Delay learns that the Almighty is only afraid of the one who bears the mark of the hunter. He does not have this mark and so he is unsure if the enslaved workers will assist him with overthrowing the Almighty. That night Tick Tick is killed in a scuffle with some of the guards from the ancient city. He passes the white spear to Delay and encourages him to fulfill his destiny. Meanwhile, the warlord has bought Evolette and is getting ready to claim her as his. With her in his arms, she takes his knife. She is stopped from killing him because priests or monk-like people come to take the warlord. They ask him why he did he steal from the Almighty. Then they take the knife from her. When they do so, they see her hand and her scar is the mark of the hunter. Her scar matches a constellation. They run to tell the Almighty and he is understandably agitated because he is near his end. The next day is the rebellion. Delay gets the mammoths that are doing the work to rampage. As a result, all hell breaks loose. People who were getting whipped turn on their captors, beating and killing them. 
the priests or monk-like people tell the Almighty what is happening. He said they should tie up the girl because the hunter just wants her. The hunters and ex-slaves are running towards the temple of the Almighty and Delay stops everyone because he sees Evelette tied up. The Almighty said that he can take her and leave everyone else. He says that he will agree to this bargain. Then he throws his spear and kills the Almighty. Everyone sees that he is not a god as he claimed. While all the fighting is going on, Delay is looking for Evelette. The love-struck warlord is determined to have her and is escaping with her on a horse. Evelette uses an arrow to stab him and they fall off. She runs towards Delay. The warlord shoots her with an arrow in the back and says that Delay will not have her either. Delay holds her and she breathes her last breath. But as she does that, the spirit woman gives Evelette her breath. Evelette lives and Delay, his tribesmen return home. A man who was friends with Delay's father gives him some seeds for them to carry back to their land. This is so they will have food and not go hungry in lean times. The movie ends with Evelette and Delay kissing in the sunset. And that is the end of this movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for weekly updates of movie recaps like this. Comment what movie you want next. Thanks for watching.